Hey guys, Dan Designs, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to save it the right way. So, I picked out a random picture. It's like my background. I think it's gorgeous. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Um, so, so it's like you could save it as a logo, a picture, even a YouTube background. So the right way you want to do it is you want to click File and Save for Web and Devices. That's what you want to save it as. And once you open it, it's gonna like uh, the bigger the file, the longer it takes to load. And you want on PNG24, and it will kind of like lag. It lags for me. I have a shit computer. There goes my phone. Hold on, let me pause it until it goes. All right, uh, it loaded. Um, so basically, this is what it is. Um, it's kind of zoomed in too much, so I just wanna. You can't really zoom out. It just shows you how big it is. And uh, this number right here, 4.71 m megabytes, not well, not megabytes, m. Um, if you want to save a YouTube background, it has to be under one. Okay, it has to be under one. If it's over, if it's over one, it, it's like YouTube won't accept it. It's too big of a file. So uh, if you're like making a pattern or anything, or like levels to darken the the background you should like take that off because that really jumps the uh, file size big and um... yep this is what you want you want a PGN 24 and uh... that's it you don't have to change anything else uh... like, like this it's, it's not really nothing and uh... yep that's it and then you press save and you save it wherever you want so i'm not going to save it because i don't need to and um yep that's it uh a like is very appreciated um more tutorials can you comment uh to like tell me more tutorials i can do because i really enjoy doing them um and i'm not that busy this week so i might be making more videos than normal and uh yeah uh, thank you bye